good morning everyone today we will see the four quadrant so perfect dc motor drive its operation and all see this four quadrant uh, chopper is also called as a class e chopper class e chopper and this is the circuit diagram of four quadrant chopper and you can see this chopper is operating in four quadrants that means this configuration is having four switches namely ch1 ch2 ch3 ch4 along with four diodes d1 d2 d3 and d4 and the motor load is connected in between these two legs in between these two legs and this this can be any motor load which means a uh, separately excited motor load or series motor load any of the motor load and this blue line indicates the motor actual current direction and plus and minus symbols indicates the actual voltage polarity across the motor terminals okay now we want to operate this chopper under four quadrants so for each and every quadrant we have each and every, for each and every quadrant we have four switches so ch1 which is first switch used for the first quadrant operation which means ch1 will be the operator for the first quadrant ch2 will be the operator for the second quadrant ch3 will be the operator for the third quadrant and finally ch4 will be the operator for the fourth quadrant right so and this is the four quadrant uh, diagram and which quadrant which switches will operate which switches will be turned on which switches will be turned off and all those details has been uh, shortly given here for each and every quadrant and we will see the operation of this circuit how the four quadrant operation will be achieved across the motor terminals okay and this is the supply voltage which is a dc because this is a chopper circuit so the supply will be a dc plus and minus terminals now let's see if the switch 1 is turned on switch 1 means we are uh, looking for first quadrant operation so switch 1 is the operator for the first quadrant so switch 1 if switch 1 is a turned on and also the switch 4 is also turned on switch 1 and switch 4 are turned on initially then the supply current starts from the supply and enters into the switch 1 switch 1 to the motor terminals motor terminals to the switch 4 switch 4 to the negative supply so the current starts at the positive terminal enters into the switch 1 uh, from switch 1 it will flows through the motor load any of the motor series or separately excited motor any of the motor from motor load to the switch 4 uh, from switch 4 to the negative supply so the current will be uh, taken from the supply by the load that means this is the motoring action or you can see the current entering path the green line is the current drawn by the motor which is this arrow so this is the direction of the current and this blue arrow represents the original direction of the motor current see these two currents are on the same direction these two currents are on the same direction that means the current is positive in the motor okay and you can see switch 1 switch 4 both are turned on that means the positive terminal of the supply is directly appeared across the positive supply of the motor so this positive is connected to the positive terminal of the motor positive positive is connected and here this negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the motor because this switch is short turned on so short so this negative is connected to this negative so positive is connected to positive negative is connected to negative that means the voltage is also a positive value 
so voltage positive and current positive that means this operation is forward motoring condition or simply we can say first quadrant operation so for achieving this we have turned on the switch 1 and switch 4 this is first quadrant so ch1 is the ch1 will be the will be operated here now we have seen ch1 turn on condition now we will see if this ch1 is turned off which means open circuit if a ch1 is turned off then there is no current will be flow from the supply terminal to the motor terminal in this case this diode d2 will become forward bias which means this diode d2 will free wheel so the energy which is stored in this inductor will be circulated in the form of current through the ch4 which means switch 4 to diode d2 to diode d2 to the motor armature uh, terminals which is ra la and eb so this will be the current direction when the switch 1 is open which means turned off which one is turned off that means there is no supply is given to the motor so already the inductive winding having the energy which is stored energy that stored energy is delivered or distributed again or recirculated as a current through the switch 4 and diode d2 here diode d2 will free wheels so here also you can see the original direction and the current flow direction of the motor both are same that means still the current is working in the four quadrant operation for this operation the motor terminals are short circuited see d2 and ch4 are short circuited because these two are on that means these two terminals are short circuited because this is a free wheeling action so the voltage across the motor terminals during this mode is zero okay so still it is in first quadrant operation now you can see ch1 is operated operated means we can see the condition when ch1 is turned on as well as the turned off we have seen for the turned on and for the turn off so when ch1 is turned on similarly ch4 is also turned on so that the current direction will be from the supply to the motor this is on case and when ch1 is off we have seen that ch4 along with d2 this d2 will comes under free wheeling action so this current will be recirculated so ch4 and d2 will conducts when the ch1 is turned off so this is the first condition to achieve the first quadrant operation similarly we can see for other quadrants also coming to the second quadrant see second quadrant means we need to operate the switch 2 so switch 2 will be operated so if this switch 2 is turned on if this switch 2 is turned on that means it is closed so always this supply tries to uh, deliver the current to the load so it will if you see this switch 1 is off so current will not enter here this diode is reverse this diode is reverse biased so current will not enter here also and switch 3 is open so will not enter here also d3 is reverse biased so the current from the source cannot be uh, entered to the load at this condition the back emf acts as a supply which is a generator so this back emf produces the energy and the current will flow from the back emf to switch to switch to to diode d4 will comes in the forward bias mode so the current enters into the diode d4 and uh, get back to the motor in this condition l will be energized due to the back emf of the motor so the current direction will be from positive terminal of the back emf to the motor terminals la ra and to the switch second switch ch2 and from the switch to diode d4 and diode d4 to back emf terminal 
negative supply. In this mode, you can see the positive and positive both are connected means positive both the positives are in the same direction and both the negatives are in the same direction. That means the voltage is positive, but the current direction you can see the current is uh, going in this way, but the actual current direction of the motor is in this way. So both are opposing. Opposing means the current have negative polarity. So voltage is positive and the current have negative, which means the second quadrant operation, which is forward regenerative braking section. Forward regenerative braking section. So CH2 and D4 is conducted and the inductor stores the energy which is drawn by, uh, which is drawn from uh, the back EMF for a while. After some time, after some time, because CH2 is operating, so after some time, I'm turning off this CH2. Now this CH2 is not conducting. This CH2 is also not conducting. Then how the current direction will be? In this case, the back EMF, sorry, uh, I'm sorry. In this case, the energy that is stored in this inductor in the previous case, that will deliver the current. So this is positive and this is negative. So the current will go through the diode one because this diode one will be uh, in forward bias because this is positive and this is anode. Anode and positive means diode D1 becomes uh, forward bias. So the current will flow from source to the supply terminal, sorry, from load to the supply terminals and comes back from the supply terminals to the motor like this. So this will be the current direction. You can see clearly that the load is giving supply to the source, which is simply called as regeneration process. So the current direction is from uh, motor LA RA to the supply terminals pass to, and from the negative terminal to diode D4, diode D4 to again motor terminals. So here the energy is giving back to the supply, which is a regenerative process. And you can see the current direction here also, when compared with the original direction of the current, both are opposing, which means the current is negative, but still the voltage is positive here, because here it is positive and here it is positive. However, uh, this is operating in second quadrant mode only. See, this is CH2 is off, then diode D1 becomes forward biasing, Already D4 is conducting in the previous section also. So D1, D, D4 will be conducting and the supply, sorry, and the uh, motor generates the energy and gives back to the supply, which is a regenerative process. So second quadrant. Similarly, for third quadrant, we will operate switch three. If we turn on on condition, for on condition, if we turn on this switch three, then, Switch two will also be turned on for the continuity of the sub continuity of the supply. So in this case, the current from the supply pass to terminal will come through switch three, switch three to the motor, motor terminals to the switch two, switch two to the negative terminal. So this will be the current direction. So positive supply to the current from the source or this from the supply will start at the positive terminal and flows through CH3, which is switch three, and enters into the motor, and goes into the switch two, and ends at negative terminal. And you can see here, the positive terminal is connected here, and uh, the negative terminal is, uh, uh, is connected here, but which is opposite polarities to the original positive and negative. That means here the voltage is negative polarity. And similarly, you can see the current direction here. The original current direction is opposite. So both are opposing. That means the current is also minus. So voltage polarity is opposite and the current direction is also opposite, which means current and voltage both are opposite direction. That means the third quadrant operation can be achieved when CH3 and CH2 are turned on. Okay, here this is third quadrant. So we have seen CH3 
turning on condition now let's see if ch3 is turned off it is not conducting now it is not conducting now then the energy that is stored in the inductor that will be delivered or that will be circulated to the uh, ch2 and here the diode d4 becomes the forwarding condition and the current enters into diode d4 and uh, falls back to the motor terminal so uh, like this the current direction will be and you can see the current direction in this uh, condition also both are opposing which means the current is still negative that means the motor is still operating in third quadrant only so ch2 and C d4 both are conducting channel 2 switch and d4 both are conducting so here the third quadrant operation is achieved even when ch3 is turned off so that the current direction will be from la ra to the ch2 ch2 to d4 diode d4 to again motor back emf eb terminal so this is how the third quadrant operation can be achieved and for the fourth quadrant operation switch 4 will be operated so initially switch 4 is turned on so switch 4 is turned on uh, other switches are turned off so there is no chance of uh, coming input current uh, from the supply so this motor load which means the back emf itself will generate the energy and the uh, energy will be sorry sorry uh, this is turned on the eb will be generating the energy and the energy will flows in the opposite direction because when, when, when. is turned on excuse me sorry for the disturb disturbance right so ch4 is turned on so that means this energy will be means the back emf will have a reverse polarity here so the positive voltage will be like this so current started uh, starting from the positive polarity will goes through ch4 and ch4 to diode d2 will become uh, forward bias because positive terminal is connected to the anode terminal of the ch4 so that means uh, uh, this diode d2 becomes a forward bias condition so the current will enters into the d2 and uh, comes back to the motor like this now you can see the motor is starting uh, sorry the uh, current is starting at the back emf positive terminal back emf positive terminal to the ch4 ch4 to diode d2 from diode d2 to uh, ra la of the motor terminals you can see the polarities voltage polarities here it is positive but actual polarity of the motor has to be negative here so which means opposite the polarity is opposite that means the voltage is negative and the direction of the current if this is the actual current direction now the mode direction mode current direction is this so both are in the same direction which means the current is positive so current is positive but the voltage is negative which is fourth quadrant operation so in this duration this back emf uh, generates the energy that energy is stored by this inductor so ch4 is turned on then diode d2 will become conduction mode so at this duration inductor stores the energy now in the second case this ch4 is turned off in the previous case we have turned on the ch4 now it is turned off ch4 is not turning on now this energy which is stored in the inductor tries to deliver its own energy to the load so this will be the current direction that means the diode d3 will comes into the forward bias because this is positive terminal and this will be the negative terminal of the uh, negative terminal so the current is starting from the positive terminal so diode d3 will become forward bias mode and similarly diode d2 will become forward bias mode that means d3 and d2 will be conducting because this cathode is connected to the negative terminal so d2 will become forward bias positive is connected to the anode terminal of the d3 so d2 d3 will become forward bias means these two are conducting now so the ener energy that is stored in the inductor will be delivered to the load 
via D2 and D3. Then the current direction will be from inductor positive terminal to diode D3, from diode D3 to the positive terminal of the supply, and negative terminal of the supply to diode D2, D2 to the uh, D2 to back to the motor terminals. In this case also, the energy is which is generated in the motor or in the load that is delivered to the source. So the motor or the load is generating the energy and giving back to the load, which is reverse regenerative braking because the current is positive. See the direction of the current, but the voltage polarities are negative here. So current is positive, but the voltage polarity is negative. That means fourth quadrant operation. So fourth quadrant operation determines the reverse regenerative braking. So this is how uh, the four quadrant operations can be achieved with the help of class E type chopper. Each switch operates, sorry, each switch will control each quadrant. Okay. And the respective waveforms of each and every quadrant, we can see. See, this is for first quadrant operation. So for first quadrant operation, you will uh, you'll have positive current. So the current is positive, which is continuous one. So like this, the current waveform will be, and the voltage is also positive. You can see the average voltage, which is a positive line. This is for motoring, forward motoring action. And for second quadrant, which is forward regenerating action, here the voltage is still positive. You can see this line, but the current is negative. So this is the x-axis T line of the current, and you can see the current waveform, which is completely negative. So the second quadrant. Similarly, for third quadrant, the voltage and current both are negative. See here, the current is negative. And this is the average voltage line, which is also negative. This is the voltage x-axis line. And this is the negative terminal of the voltage, which is minus. OK, current is negative and voltage is negative because this is third quadrant. So the waveforms will be, both the waveforms will be voltage and current will be in the negative section. And coming to the fourth quadrant operation, you can see the current is positive here. And the voltage is negative here. This is the x-axis of the voltage. And you can see below the x-axis, the voltage line below the x-axis. That means the voltage is negative, but here the current is positive. So the, uh, these are the four quadrant waveforms of the class E chopper for any of the DC drive, either it may be DC series or it may be DC separately excited motor. For any of the DC drive, this is how we can attain the four quadrant operation.